Yeah, you can't lock me out forever. <laughs> oh, hey. Today, what I thought would be a good idea is we've gone through beginner exercises for planche and iron cross and it brings me back to the handstand. I've got a lot of issues with people training handstand. I think everyone should be able to do the handstand, but there's a few pointers I think I can give, which I think will help to improve your training of it. The first thing people do, the mistake they do, is they don't wear midriffs. <laughs> Give me some milk. The main thing you want to do is have a good shape in your handstand. I'm going to assume that you guys know a good handstand is that perfect alignment. What mistake do I see a lot of people making is they waste a lot of energy kicking up into it. Oh, I've nearly got it! Oh, oh! Maybe. Oh! Oh! <laughs> One more. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it wastes a lot of energy. So what I suggest people to do is to find a wall. Kick up into the wall. As close as you can. Hit your proper position. And then all you have to do is bring one foot off the wall. And then the other. And that's where you'll hit your handstand. The idea of that is if you're going to kick over, you're not going to because the wall is there. And if you're going to come back down, you won't. <laughs> Two things I notice that people do in the handstand, which will dramatically improve it if they correct it, is they're up in handstand, their feet are apart. Now that's fine to have your feet, no it's not. It's really not. They're acting as different things. <laughs> One's going to the markets. The other's going to the brothel down the road. <laughs> so if you put your feet together and squeeze them together, it acts like one unit. The final step is to do with shoulder activation. So when you're actually up into the handstand, people can get quite lazy or not be able to differentiate between activating the shoulder joint to push away. When you're actually up in the handstand, it's the same kind of thing as pointing the toes or putting your feet together and pointing the toes to form one unit. When you are up in the handstand and you decide to activate the shoulders, it helps to tense the whole upper body as a unit. So you're less likely with looser shoulders to close and open the shoulder angle, making yourself two units. You're up in handstand and just practice loosening and activating the shoulders. Loosening and activating. And then this activation, this is what you want to hold when you're actually in a handstand. So they're the tips that I would advise to do for fixing up a handstand. Apply them straight away and your handstand training will go through the roof. That's the video today. Like it if you subscribed. If you subscribed, make sure that you do it. And don't remember, forget the bricks and the stones. Subscribe. <laughs> this is America. This is the Aussie version. <laughs> <laughs>